Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today is Friday and today is going to be my Fridays with plaid. And, um, I am <clears throat> so in love with plaid products and <clears throat> I really want to dedicate a day, you know, of a video of where I use their products and I show you, excuse me, I'm still sick. Uh, <clears throat> and I show you what they're capable of and different things to do with them. Um, what I'm going to do today is make something for my husband's office. Now, this is a paper mache deer I got at Hobby Lobby. And um, I had all of these ideas for it. <laughs> all these ideas. And as you can see, I started uh, gessoing it. And um, I just, I, I, it wasn't talking to me. So I thought, it hit me the other night when I was laying in bed thinking about things I wanted to do. Um, I want to make it look faux like stone rock. So I pulled out my painted finishes from folk art. And this is the concrete, the light concrete. And you just shake it. Now this is a very big thing. So it's kind of taken up my desk a little bit. So, but I'm just shaking it and I'm going to leave it upside down. So the stuff goes to the top. And this is a dark concrete. So I am going to paint, and I'm shaking this as well. This is a little thicker. I'm going to paint this in the dark concrete. And I'm going to see how it dries. And then I'm going to just touch it up with some light. Um, I like to do usually light to dark first, but I want the dark underneath. Um, like it's almost, I don't know. It's how I like it in my mind. But look, if you want to paint it, light first and then dark dark then light it's all on to you up to you you could do this on an art journal page you could do this on anything um and i do have other videos using this and i will link up in the i card which is up in this corner it's an i just push it click it and uh, it should open up underneath the picture underneath the video and if you can't click the i card go down in the description and there will be a link to the other video so I'm shaking it and shaking it and shaking it because I want it mixed. And I'm going to also probably mix it with a, uh, a spackle. I call it a spackle knife, but let me get this opened. And this is just, ugh, this is good stuff. Okay. So I have it opened. And wipe off my hands grab a brush now there are certain brushes uh that they sell i think specific to this uh product but i maybe i'll i want a pretty big brush but i i want to make sure it goes in here so i'll stay here so all i'm gonna do is go in and like i said make sure you mix it because you want the grit you know what I mean? And I'm just going to paint this with wild abandon because I just want this coat to be on here because I'm going to go over it. And let me show you as close as I can. I'm going to mix this one more time. Well, I'm going to just mix it. There you go. I want that crumbly, delicious concrete. And you can even see. Let's see if you can see. I say you can see. Can you see some of that already looking like concrete, like mud? You know, it's like sheetrock almost, but it's delicious. Although sheetrock can be delicious too, you know. All right. And you can pour this into a container and, um, you know, if you uh, want and brush it on that way. I mean, you can do whatever you want. I'm just going in. And I'm on my work mat, my nonstick mat. But of course, put down newspaper or a uh, garbage bag, brown paper bag. You know, so you don't make a mess. You could do this on your your kitchen table if you don't have room or you don't have a lot of you uh, work off of your dining room table, kitchen table. And um, that's how I started out. That's how I did it. So you don't have to worry. You just put a little, little stuff down. You can see I'm just going to... You can see it goes on so fast. I'm really going to work on this nose because I know that you can see it and there we go and I'm gonna paint it everywhere as you can see 
And what I'm going to do is, there we go. I'm going to forward through me painting the rest of it. And then I will show you what it looks like when it's dry. Okay, so it's all dry for the most part. It doesn't have to be completely dry. Now, <clears throat> let me tell you this. If you're only able, because, you know, I, even though I love this company and I'm, you know, doing videos and stuff for the company and products and all that, and I'm very, very blessed to be on their ambassador uh, team, I am still for people crafting and by that, I mean, you know, if you don't have a lot of money and all that kind of stuff. So I'm still going to give you tips and all that because I don't think if you always can't, if you can't afford something that somebody is showing you or that somebody likes, you know, I want you to still be able to do, uh, you know, a, a similar thing. Now, I'm using two colors. I'm using the dark concrete and the uh, light concrete, but... Let's say you can only afford one. Maybe you only have a 50 off coupon at your Michaels and you can only afford one. Um, so all you would do is, and, and you don't have to paint a deer head. It could be, uh, I have other projects I'm going to be using with different colors of this, but it could be anything. It could be in your art journal. It could be on a piece of jewelry. It could be on a frame. It could be anything, right? Um, use gray paint. Use your gray uh your gray uh, folk art paint, acrylic paint, but gray uh, acrylic paint nonetheless, and uh, paint it gray, right? And then buy the lighter color to put on top. Um, now you can see this has really fantastic texture. It's just, it's, it's delicious. But at the end of the day, if you want something, you'll get something similar. It won't be exactly like this, but you can still get the texture and the idea of it, if that makes sense. Um, you know, don't always give up on the fact of if you see people using, I don't know, golden, Liquitex, um, you know, things that you maybe you can't afford. It's okay because there's other ways to do it. Now, I know people who love golden. Um, I have golden. I know people love it, swear by it. You shouldn't have a, use a craft paint. Let me tell you something. I, these are fantastic craft paints. The uh, plaid, the folk art, the... Uh, ceram coat, those kind of things. They're fantastic uh, craft paints. And I'm all for you get what you can get and you do what you got to do. But it's not about sitting here and looking at somebody else. Um, you're to be inspired by somebody else, not copy somebody else in that way. Do you know what I mean? I hope that makes sense. I'm off my high horse now. However, you can just paint this a regular color. 
gray, or whatever color you want. Um, these come in uh, different colors. They come in red and green and, and that kind of thing. Um, so you can definitely do this in a green and do a green moss. Um, but like I said, you can just buy this light concrete one, the painted finishes. Um, and I've seen it at AC Moore and you can use your coupon there. Um, paint something gray or whatever, and then put this on top and you're getting the same type of um, look. Do you know what I mean? So here we go. All right, enough of me talking three minutes in. So I'm just shaking this a little bit because I want um, I want that to distribute the little crumbles, as I like to call them. Z faux concrete. Okay. And I'm just going to open it. Now, I used this whole thing. I used this for the whole deer, and I still have half of this left. So, you know, you get quite a few projects from it. And I've used this one many, many times. And all I'm going to do is dip my brush in, and I'm just going to lightly go over it. Very, very lightly, because I just want it to brush over it. You know, just so it has, you know, a little bit of concrete look. And if it's too much, you just take a little paper towel. And you can use a um, sponge if you want to put this on. I just want that dark coming through as well. And I'm just going to go and I'm going to paint very lightly as if we're dry brushing it over it. And once I get one side done, I like to wipe it. You don't have to. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this on. Oh, let me turn it. See? And I'm just going to very lightly and I go over with if it's too much and just to blend it in a little bit and take off some of it some of the light rub it the other way it doesn't matter this is going up on the wall so I'm not going to be too uh you know concerned now I'm just going to take it the opposite way just to fill in you know maybe a little thicker there and you can see, you still see that deliciousness coming through. So this is all I'm going to do. I'm just going to go through and lay some of this down. And my computer just cut off there. Okay. And I'm just going to go do that. Um, and then, and you can see it's very, very easy. And you can go back in and get more, you know, so it has a little bit more texture. Um, you can use a smaller brush. Like I said, you can just sponge it on in different areas that you want. Um, let me show you that. Well, maybe you could see down here better. Um, see how you can just kind of do that? You could do, you know what I mean? It's whatever you want. I like it so it comes through a little bit. I want that dark coming through and I want, you know, I want it to look, I'm doing this so it looks a little manly, if you, if you will. A little more manly. Now green would be great. Red, it doesn't matter. They have beautiful colors and you can do so many different things. And I'm going to do that and all I'm going to do, and you can even spray water on here. Let me show you. There's so many different ways to do this. Like let's say you want it a little less of that concrete color I just put on. Then look. And I'm just soaking up some of that water and it just kind of distributes it a little better. And see, it just looks, oh, I just love it. So I'm going to uh, do this and then I will be back and I'll show you what I'm going to post it on.
Okay, so you can see I added a little bit of the green. It's called um, light moss in the painted finishes. Just a little bit of it around a little bit to make it look a little more worn. And I'm going to give you a tip. Uh, I started putting the green on the moss and in the ears and stuff, and I really loved it. But what you have to do is you have to like take a step back. <laughs> take a step back when you do that and look at it as a whole. And when I did that, I didn't care for all the green so much. So I went back in with the dark concrete and my brush. And I just kind of lightly dragged it over just to mellow the green out a little bit. And I like it a lot more. So definitely, you know, do your thing. Now, again, let me give you a little tip. Here's a little uh, cheap and easy tip from me. Uh, if you go and you buy and you buy something, whatever you're going to do, and you paint it gray, and then you go and get yourself this delicious um, light concrete in the uh, painted finishes, um, and then do that, and you're like, oh, you know what? I want a little green on it as well. All you got to do is get your green acrylic paint and just do little dabs here, a little sponge here and there, and you'll get, you know, essentially the same kind of look because if you use one of these um if you use this it has the texture in it so you're still going to get that delicious texture and look at how it transformed the deer now let me show you i got this it's called a tin ceiling um tile and i got it at hobby lobby and i got it for um four dollars because i used the coupon let me show you i know i'm taking a minute and you can see it's like bluish and, and uh, blue green, like a, I don't know. And it's like worn with like the silver coming through. And I really liked it because what I want to do is I want to put it on this deer head. I want this to be the base and I want this on here. Now it'll look different hanging on the wall because it's going to be 3d out at you. Right? So you can't, you're not going to be able to really see it. I'll take a picture uh, once it's up, but um, so this is what I'm going to do with it. And I'm deciding if I want to rough this up a little bit with the uh, concrete, but I kind of, I am somebody who likes like new old, like I could take some black acrylic paint on this right now and really distress this out, which if you are with, if you've been with me for any uh, length of time, you guys know that I do enjoy me uh, bright colors and throwing some black watered down black on it to make it aged. Right. Um, but I don't know if I want to do it on here because I kind of dig, the whole um you know the whole new old kind of thing um i just have to decide what kind of glue i'm going to use i don't know if hot glue is going to be enough um it might, might very well be Ugh, that's the only thing i have to decide but so this is what it's going to look like when it's done i will have it you know a little more in the center and then it'll be hanging on the wall so this is, uh, you know, the finished thing. And this is kind of like what it'll look like on there. You know what I mean? Kind of. It's not in the 3D, but uh, I, I just love it. I'm so excited. Um, <clears throat> I think the glue that I'm going to use is the uh, Sobo. And I don't know if I can arrange this now to sit. Maybe I can. You know, so I think I'm going to take this. This is Sobo and it's from Delta and it's, I, it's one of my favorite glues. I go through these like crazy, but all I'm going to do is I'm just going to squirt this in the middle. I want a lot, as you can see, it is a little, uh, a little brighter than I really want it, but that's okay. And then I'm going to take my deer head and I'm going to stand up. <laughs> And I'm just going to kind of push it where I want it, where it's a general idea. Now you can measure and you can do all kinds of fancy things, but I'm not because I'm happy. And my brain cannot measure today. So I'm just going to lean this. Now I have it up against, let me switch my camera back a little bit, a uh, mason jar full of water. Okay. And that's what that's leaning on. And it's leaning on it good. So it's, you know, touching that glue. And I might want to put something on the front here, but I will have a picture of this when it's all done, hopefully hanging on the wall. Um, and you know what I might do? Certainly not going to get my painter's tape and tape it down like I did when I, um, I think I'm just going to let it go. I'm going to let it go and just see what happens. Maybe I will take a little 
painter's tape. Me and painter's tape. Oh, we go back. We go way back. I just don't want to peel off any of the finish. And I don't know if it, it, it will or not, but I just want like this piece. Arr, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Let me take some stickies off. See, I want it like down. I don't know. That's not going to do anything. That's not going to do anything. I don't think anything's going to do anything in here. Except the glue. So I just got to hope that glue is going to work for me. Maybe this will help if I push this up underneath a little bit. If that will. Or is that going to make it uneven? Things I should probably do when the camera's off. But I want to show you guys just in case, you know. Nah, that's going to screw it up. Just in case. See how I kind of accidentally pushed it back? I don't want to do that. Just want my little friend there. There you go. Stay there, friend. Okay. That's all I'm doing with it. But yeah, so that's it. I will, uh, you know, I'll put all the, uh, everything that I used in the colors down below, as well as a link to uh, the plaid uh website but again you can get these at ac more and michael's they are delicious i will have another i have one more um it'll be a video that's not going to be my plaid friday but uh just because i have a cool skull thing that i'm gonna do um because i love missing skulls and um yeah so i'm so excited and let me show you let me show you this this is cardboard this is corrugated cardboard look at this that is this on it built up look at that texture look at that so i mean the stuff that we can do with this is amazing and i'm really excited about this so as always please be kind to each other you never know what battle somebody else is fighting and if you wouldn't mind please leave me a thumbs up if you are uh enjoying these plaid projects and products and um fridays with plaid i'm so excited like i said they have so many wonderful products and i really want to be able to um highlight each one uh in a video and i also uh i'm going to do a blog post so head over to my blog knittingandthings.com because you never know i could have a giveaway uh one day i'm going to be doing that and um you never know when it's going to be a giveaway on my blog so please share please like, and please be kind to each other. And I love you guys so very much. And any questions, of course, leave them down below. All my info's down below. Uh, you can email me. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Pinterest. I'm on Google. I'm on Instagram. And uh, tag me and let me know uh, what you guys did. So I love you guys, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.